Hi, I've decided to do this video because I feel there's still a lot of confusion about what real sustainability is. So I have decided to give you some hints, some clues and to kind of unveil a few secrets or debunk some mites. And in order to go into this, I will start with, as I said, debunking a myth. And I tell you, eco-sustainability does not exist. Wow! I said it! And it's so necessary. Eco-sustainability does not exist. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever seen a stool standing with just one leg? Ah, I don't think so. Since ever, human beings have built stools with a minimum of three legs. Likewise, sustainability. Economic, environmental and social. So, just to give you some hints about how to avoid the trap of eco-sustainability, I will give you some advice. First of all is forget about sustainability reporting. Just set it aside for the moment. And you may say, wow, how can we do without our yearly sustainability report? And I say, please listen to me. Trust me, set it aside for a while. Instead, I would very much advise you to do something which is much more important than reporting. It's mapping your stakeholders. And yet you can say, oh, it's obvious. No, it is not. There are many categories who are usually neglected while mapping stakeholders or while considering them in order to develop strategies. And sustainability is about industrial strategies. You want an example? Well, internal stakeholders, employees, collaborators, workers, your people, they are quite often neglected in the mapping and in the keeping in mind of stakeholders while developing strategies. Another thing is the relationship between shareholders and stakeholders. Quite often, they are dealt with as if they were in conflict, which is not, should not be. They share many common goals. And in mapping your stakeholders, you will see this and you will consider this. But mapping stakeholders, I would advise you to do that cleverly. Just mapping them is not enough. Map them dynamically by reciprocal degree of influence. You have an impact on your stakeholders, a lot of positive ones with your activity, but also some negative ones. And you will maximize your positive impacts and minimize or even eliminate your negative impacts in time. And stakeholders have an influence on you. For instance, the government public administration, customers, competitors, suppliers, environmental regulators. You have plenty of external stakeholders who have an influence upon you. You have to know which is the balance of power in this relationship. And that's dynamic mapping. Now, next step, sit down with your people with the leadership of your organization, your management, and set sustainability objectives. You know what? If you ask to many companies who have sustainability reporting, what are their objectives? They say, oh, we don't know. But if you don't have objectives, where are you going? What are you reporting about? So sit down with your people and develop an industrial plan, a strategy and the objectives that you want to reach. That's very interesting. And then another great step. 
Share your objectives. Engage your people. Engage all of your stakeholders in the pursuit of these objectives. Then reporting, you see, at some point will become interesting because you have tracked away and you are walking along that path. And by the way, sustainability is walking the talk of business excellence. Now you have a strategy, you have objectives, you have a plan. And what you need? Investments, not expenses. And here's the big difference between philanthropy and sustainability. In a way, you know, philanthropy is doing good with what we have in excess. So in a way, even if I don't recommend that, philanthropy can afford the luxury of being inefficient. Sustainability cannot. Sustainability is industrial strategy is the way you manage your organization in order to achieve your objectives. So you have to be efficient and you have to expect a good ROI. And no one expects a ROI from philanthropy, but from sustainability, yes, we do. And you know what's amazing is that sustainability is well known to pay for itself and to generate extra profits. This is really amazing. Now, I hope I have given you some useful hints about sustainability and debunk it, the myth of eco-sustainability, so that no one will waste any more time upon it. And if you want to know more about sustainability, embedded and integrated sustainability, just visit our website and get in touch. Thank you and enjoy your journey to sustainability.